What's up guys, how you not doing? Welcome back, this is my boy Gadam Slink. I hope you're not doing okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Come on guys, come on, eh? Come on. How you now go kidnap person made they make you not laugh? You now go kidnap comedia papa, abba. Just imagine making the public laugh, uplifting the public, and even the kidnapper that I'm able to uplift him by making him, making him laugh, we end up kidnapping my own father. That's exactly what is happening to Sabinus now. Even Sabinus was shocked. That, uh uh, even when I even they make these people happy, I thought I was untouchable. But right now, they just touch me. It was uh, reported yesterday that the father of Nigerian comedian and skit maker uh, Sabinus uh, was kidnapped. Then, another report came out that uh, he was later, he regained freedom. Then, uh, Mr. Funny said, kidnap and we go carry my papa. Feet still watch my video, they laugh. This life, sha. But we bless God for providing, for providing. Unless how I would have paid ransom by now. If I be sorry, I for the year. Thank you, Lord. So according to Sabino, Sabino's paid millions in ransom. Millions in ransom to get his father released. Millions in ransom to get his father released. That was what Sabinus paid. Millions. Abba. Yesterday, like I said, we reported that Sabinus, that is making the world laugh and putting smile on faces, they had to go kidnap his father. Well, thank God his father has been released, but Sabinus paid. Sabinus paid. In some country like the United States of America, if you pay bribe, your person you pay for the release of your own child eh? you can't be jailed you allow the police to do their work but no we are in nigeria in fact it is almost even encouraged before you ever allow police to do their work go and pay the ransom first to secure his life because we know how ruthless how difficult and ruthless kidnappers in nigeria are May we never meet them. Can I hear you say amen? Today is Sunday. May we never meet all those ruthless, stupid kidnappers. None of them at all. May we never meet all those stupid people. Can I hear you say amen? Well, thank God Sabino's father is safe. We do not know the amount Sabino paid, but he said, thank God, though, say, I was able to pay. If to say I be no get money, ask I go to pay. So Sabino, if you might tell us, eh, tell us exactly how much you pay because it's going to assist us to know and to also call out the security agencies as well you understand how much did you pay for the release of your father and please if you pay ransom please make sure you relocate your father from that place or tell your father not to cross that place again it was if it was in the village Remove him for that village because they will still come back. The day they no go see people kidnap again, the day they no go see people kidnap again, they will still come back to kidnap your father and collect another money. Please, ah, please, remove your father from that environment, Sabinus. Remove your father from that environment, Sabinus. You understand? Remove him immediately. No even waste time at all. Remove him. Since uh, they want the kidnapper for village, remove him. Immediately, that's my advice to you because me, they don't kidnap my father for village and my father will see the day if I get money. What did my father want, want to do there? He want me to go see kidnap and more and more and more and more and I will just pay like that. Like exactly what happened to Mikhail Obi's father. Mikhail Obi's father was kidnapped twice. Kidnapped once, he paid. And he was still around that environment. The same kidnapper came again to kidnap him. After some years, and he paid again. So I hope his father is no longer there again. If not, the day they will still go broke, they will still go kidnapper. And those kidnapping kidnappers say, upon the one with the dog back, 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 back. Ah, you go good, good they kidnap person be like say they also for your money now. You are they also for my money. I am not a government official. I am not part of your problem. I am just also my money. You go to kidnap my person. Is my person part of your problem? Eh? 
And people will still be having friends that are kidnappers. You know this your guy, that illegal person, I kidnap I be, you see they uh, make friends with her. Girl go see the knack kidnapper. Oh women. Well, check out this uh this news. Some kidnappers were arrested yesterday. They say police arrest kidnappers for killing a 71 years old man. One others after collecting ransom in Ogun State. Well, look at them, guys. Ogun State Police Command arrested two kidnappers for allegedly their victim after collecting ransom for their family. This is exactly what some of them do. In fact, nowadays, if they kidnap your family, you are praying for multiple things. Pray for God to secure the person's release in peace. Again, praying for money to secure his release. And at the same time, praying for God, even after you pay the ransom, you will still be praying that the kidnapper shouldn't increase the money. And after that, you still be praying again, oh, the kidnapper shouldn't go on to kill the person. They kidnap a 71 years old man. Someone came there to bail that 71 years old man with the ransom. They collected the ransom. Why the 71 years old man? See why the person joined. You see how wicked and this person go all like this. You, 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 you can see their face now. You're saying that devil work. Please, this devil work. Oh, that devil. Oh, devil punish you there. Oh, it's devil work. It's devil work. Devil has nothing to do with this. You are at work. Don't be devil work. You understand? You are at work, not devil work. Just see their face. If you check now, they get wife, they get children for us. That's the crazy stuff. They get wife and kids for us. Just check, check their face. Just check their face. That brutalize them and eh? use their koboku. Koboku. Beat them well. Beat them well. So, guys, uh, let's move past that. Let's talk about uh, our president, Tunubu. You know, he made one historical change. Uh, that was a few days ago about the local government chairman, which I'm very, 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 very happy and supportive uh, about. But now, his recent appointee, he appointed a woman recently to, to join his cabinet. That is uh, Mrs. Mojiso Lao Lao Wa. Kende Ali as the executive director operation of the Nigeria Social Insurance Trust Fund. You see, the president has a point has given the approval for the appointment of Mrs. Kende as the executive director operational of the Nigeria Social Insurance Trust Fund. Then somebody quickly gave us in memory lane, like took us back to where we are coming from. The person said, Mama Palliative, who can remain, uh, remind us of this story again? The other person, hmm, it's like your white has to be stained before you will get appointment in APC government. The other person said, this sinful woman stole COVID-19 palliative meant for Nigeria, Bola Atunubu, and rewarding criminals like, okay, I don't want to mention that. This Sarah reporter said, Nigeria has pulled out Lagos Assembly member Ali used COVID-19 palliative as birthday gift. See ya. Birthday gift. See ya. Remember that time that during the SS now when they scatter things, they expose some certain things. They share material for Nigerians. Some politicians hoarded the materials. They want they ordered the materials. So for months, even the things were even spoiling in the warehouse. Ha Nigeria wicked. Ha Nigerians are wicked. They give rise in Dumi. First part of palliative, with an expiring date. They hold the material. Why? They, it's not that they eat tamo. If somebody was keeping it for his for her birthday, to share on her birthdays. Ha! 
Ah, who do us? Even the simplest awkward things that make we supposed to they do eh, to they use the play politics. We use them for politics over here. Who do us? Ah. Well, let me know exactly how you feel about that, guys. And uh, thank you very much for watching. It's a boy, Gadam Slink. Catch you next time.